While President Trump was at the border, federal workers were at the Capitol, again. Martin Ramirez and Trisha Pasiri Dibvik are air traffic controllers. Trisha is furloughed, but Martin still has to go to work during the shutdown. Neither of them is getting paid. They and other members of the National Air Traffic Control Union are trying to drop a flyer off at every congressional office. This is for you. This is essentially our ask we're asking. They're also speaking directly with members. It's so upsetting. And um, we have, I have some handwritten letters from members at Camarillo. Martin is the primary breadwinner in his family of four. So tell me about your family. Well, I've got a wife, uh, I've got two kids, I have a six and a 14 year old. You know, I've, I've been trying to shield them from everything going on, uh, but they're, they're there, they watch the news, they overhear mom and dad talking. Were y'all talking about this over the holidays? Uh, the holidays, uh, it wasn't um, as real as it is uh, now. I don't know how I'm gonna pay my mortgage, I don't know uh, how I'm gonna pay my kids' school. We've been in contact with the school, they're aware of the situation. Um, it's just, it's, it's tough. Both Martin and Trisha have some money saved. But Trisha is also trying to rebuild her home after losing it in one of the California wildfires in 2017. Our home burnt down in the Thomas Fire. So we're currently in the rebuild process. We live now about an hour south of our home facility. So our commute uh, along the coast on a small line freeway is pretty horrendous sometimes, back and forth. Their personal stories and concerns about safety and morale are their best bet in convincing Congress and the president to do something about the shutdown as it reaches a historic point. If the shutdown lasts through Saturday, it'll be the longest ever. To do such an important job that you do for the safety of air traffic, you're professionals and I have 100% faith in what you do, but you are human beings as well. There's a playbook for how this works. You go to the Hill and have polite meetings with your representative and anybody else who will let you in the door. You gather as many workers as you can and outfit them with matching shirts and colorful signs. Yeah, end it today. We need to end the shutdown. We need to put federal workers and contractors back to work. Trump, open the government. You are part of the backdrop and chant, and you make sure the cameras are there to see you yell. Border security is incredibly important, but don't you dare sacrifice our safety and security for that discussion. Open the government today. Today's event at the Capitol featured not only federal aviation workers, but also pilots, flight attendants, safety inspectors, and bipartisan members of Congress. We cannot afford to play games with airline security. There were lots of other labor groups rallying today as well. It may be a little cold out here, but it's not nearly as cold as the heart of that man down here at the White House. The AFL-CIO gathered federal workers and Democratic lawmakers near the White House. The point of all this? Make these people, and not politicians, the face of the shutdown. And there's nothing more powerful than a blank paycheck. Net pay, zero dollars, payday, January 15th. Right. And it literally says zero. 